Kate Who Tamed the Wind by Liz Garten Scanlon and Lee White. Once there was a man living all alone in a creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill. The man lived all alone in the creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill where a soft wind blew. The man lived all alone in the creaky house where the curtains swung and the chimes spun as a soft wind blew and blew and blew. The wind blew until the shutters banged in the creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill. The wind blew, the shutters banged, and the boards bent. The wind blew, the shutters banged, and the boards bent. The table tipped and the tea spilled. The tea spilled and the bread broke on the tippy table in the creaky house at the tip top of the steep hill. And still the wind blew. The wind blew and off the birds flew. The birds flew and the dust did too, and the man cried, what to do? What to do? The wind whipped his words from the tip top of a steep hill to the itty bitty town at the bottom where a little girl called Kate heard the cry and felt it too. She wondered what on earth to do. Wind, new trees. Kate could not stop the wind, she knew, but she could wheel a load of new trees to the tip top of her dusty hill in her wagon. There, Kate dug deep holes and watered muddy mounds till the trees grew and the trees grew the wind blew. The trees grew, the wind blew, and the time flew. The time flew as the trees grew and grew. And Kate did too. The trees grew till the leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back. The leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled, the boards bounced back and the dust died down. The dust died down, the tea steeped and the birds peeped. The birds peeped and the old man poured sweet tea and said, for you, near the quiet house on the tip top of the green hill, where a bright breeze blew. The end.